Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with an After Effects tutorial. This is going to be a real quick one. You know, usually my channel is all about music and plugins and stuff. But whenever I come across something that I struggle trying to find the answer to online, I figure why not make a tutorial just in case someone else is struggling as well. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to go from a 4K project to a 1080 project. Because I don't need 4K for my projects, but usually on uh, template sites like VideoHive, they only come in 4K these days. I don't need it to be that big. My computer kind of doesn't handle it that well. So I like to, to get them down to a smaller, more manageable size, which is 1080. And I couldn't figure out how to do it for the life of me, but uh, I got a couple of really great options for you. One is already built into After Effects. I didn't know about it. Essentially, what you gotta do is open a comp down here in the timeline. So I've just got this comp for desktop right here. And if you come over here to file, scripts, there's a thing called scale composition and you can come in here and just choose a new width. For example, you can see it's 3840. If I just come in and change that to, you know, 1920 and then hit scale, it will scale that for me. Now the issue with this script is that it doesn't change any of these nested compositions inside of this main composition. It will only change 04 desktop. Uh, zero four desktop placeholder one and all of these other ones won't be changed and that's where this other Script comes in from AE scripts and AE plugins. I'll leave a link uh, in the video description It's called recursive scale comp and you can name your own price on this So if you put in zero right here, you won't need to pay for it However, you know toss this dude a couple of bucks because if you're you know searching this out then you need it and you know why not show some love I paid the full price here, the full suggested price, so I suggest you guys do the same, but if you just wanna give a dollar, two dollars, you know, why not help them out? So recursive scale comp is like that other script, but it looks for any other comps inside of the main comp you're scaling, and it will scale those as well. So there you are. there's one other thing I wanna mention before you go ahead and get started, is that if there is anything locked inside of your projects, you need to unlock it. So uh, you gotta be careful. If I come in here, this this comp is locked. I need to unlock it, and then I need to jump in here. And you know, these I think were locked before. Uh, I need to unlock those. No matter what, you're gonna have to go through everything and just make sure that there's nothing locked inside of your project. So if I come in, and that's cool. Uh, again, if I come in here, you see that there's some hidden layers. I'm gonna wanna hit that and make sure there's nothing locked here. So now there's nothing locked in anything embedded inside of this main comp. So I come to scripts, uh, scripts, and then find that one recursive scale comp and then I just change it and I can you know I can change the width the height of the scale and it's gonna change no matter what so if I know it's 1920 you know and then I click out of here it's gonna update everything it's gonna keep the same aspect ratio so scale factor of 0.5 that makes sense right hit OK and boom if I come into composition settings now you'll see that it's 1920 by 1080 perfect so when you download the script you just want to drag it in program files adobe adobe after effects cc 2018 support files scripts and just drag and drop it right in there and then the next time you launch after effects will be available to you to go ahead and scale your projects that's how easy it is so anyway links to everything in the video description i hope that helped you i would have been helpful for me to know it before i had to find it so anyway i'll see you in the next video